hello welcome back how are you doing it has been a long time since we have sat down like this today i'm going to be talking you through the festive glam makeup that i'm going to be wearing tonight so this is like a perfect one for christmas and new year it's not going to be particularly crazy or out there or editorial so it's just a perfect lovely soft glam for celebrating with your family and friends this festive season that is actually what i am doing tonight so i thought this was the um festive glam that was worth filming a little side note tonight's party includes a dinner which is why we are doing a nude lip it's going to be nice and long lasting but very glitzy and perfect for photos as well so i hope you enjoy this and find it useful let me know in the comments or by giving this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more of these in future i would love to get back into doing more beauty videos for you all but i really just want to know that you enjoy them so do let me know if you would like to see more of these but without further ado here's the festive glam so i'm going to start off by using a primer i'm using the rare beauty primer i'll find out what this is called in a second because i've actually forgotten the name i love using this because not only does it make my makeup last so well but it also has this gorgeous smoothing property it is so beautiful my makeup looks incredible in photos when i use this like even if there's no flash flash always makes you look really really good but yeah even if there's no flash it still looks so good it's a great one for long wear but also blurring and like if you're going to be on camera it's the pore diffusing primer it's in the name really isn't it i don't wear it every day but for evenings like this evening it is my go-to i know my mum is going to be around with a camera the original vlogger and photo taker in the family you can always trust her to be on hand with a camera always ready to snap photos of her babies and next up i'm going to be taking a pump and a half of the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i'm just going to buff this in in small amounts using a brush this is from lancome it's a new brush so it's nice and clean it makes a difference to all of the others i'm using the shade 5.5 and it's a really great match for my skin and the reason i'm just working it in in little bits is because I've been finding recently I've been applying way too much product so I like to pump it onto the back of my hands at the moment and then just blend it in in small amounts and if I feel like I can stop then I stop. You can also pump just smaller amounts onto your brush if you're worried about wasting product as well. I'm just it's second nature to pump things onto the back of my hand and the reason I am using this foundation is because it doesn't have any SPF in it or so I think anyway but it's one that is known for being amazing for being photographed and it's also very very long wearing it's a lovely satin like natural foundation and um, so perfect for evening wear lots of people wear it for weddings lots of makeup artists use it for shoots as well I think it's like 21 years old now it's just an OG in the beauty industry and it always makes my skin look so good. I find it to be such a reliable foundation and the coverage is lovely too. It's very buildable so I just apply a little bit more sometimes, especially on my cheek areas where the scarring is. But um, luckily not so much of that around as there used to be. I was looking back through old vlog footage this morning, just deleting things, getting ready to film, as you do. and. I was just amazed by how much the Skin and Me treatment has helped my skin, my scarring. I haven't had a spot uh, apart from this one. There's one like right by my ear, which was kind of weird, but I haven't had a spot on my actual face in like three months. And that is the longest I've gone without a spot in probably about five years. I'm amazed by that. If my code still works, by the way, I'll leave it in the info box for you guys. But I'm not sure if it does. Next, I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Corrector Stick in the shade light peach and just using that under my eyes because they always sit quite dark like you can see now i've put it on how dark the skin around my eye eyeballs why do i get to say eyeballs that's so weird um you can see how much darker the skin around my eye is and i find this helps to make me look a lot more fresh eyed and awake normally i like to spray a bit of the rare beauty mist uh all over my face but also under my eyes when i I'm blending this because it's quite a thick product. I don't actually want to make my skin too dewy this evening, just in terms of like lasting power and stuff. So I am going without tonight and just really lightly taking my time to blend it in. However, you can blend it in with your fingers and it is much quicker. I just really, after having bad skin, I really got used to not blending anything in with my fingers, like not touching my face ever. So it's kind of second nature 
to use brushes now and just take any excess over my eyelids. I don't like to apply too much concealer to them because again, lasting power, I want my eyeshadow to last as well. Next, I am taking a pump of the Armani Fluid Sheer. To be honest, the whole pump is probably too much, but I'm just using this to add a little bit of glow where I want it. I love tapping this. Oh, I love tapping this over my cheekbones. I just think it is so, so pretty. It's just stunning. And then I take the excess onto the high points of my temples. I don't know why there's something about when the light hits here on my temples, I just absolutely love it. So I'm just mainly concentrating that onto the high points of my cheekbones. This really helps to define them and give a lot of lift in that area. And then we're gonna add a tiny amount to the end of my nose and bridge of my nose and a little bit to my chin. I always put my highlighter right on the bottom because I actually don't have a chin like a very chiseled jaw and like chin so I like to kind of exaggerate the shape here so I don't put it here where most people put their highlight I actually put it a little bit lower and then you can take the rest and just pop it on your collarbone and it really makes it pop which is just stunning I'm not sure if you can see that we love a little shoulder highlight you obviously don't have to do that but it's a great way to make sure you don't waste your excess product just realized my light is up a little bit high oh okay we can see skin now great i was literally like oh, why can i not get the hang of filming when it's darker i've just realized next my favorite concealer this is the hourglass concealer in the shade beach it is so creamy but the coverage is just incredible as well. I like to use this for extra coverage where I need it but because of the creaminess it's also very smoothing so sometimes I use it in areas that are not necessarily like scarred or blemishy but slightly uneven in their texture and it just smooths it out so beautifully. Big big fan of this concealer. I almost had a little bit of an SOS moment because I couldn't find this concealer but this is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. I know this is a lot of concealing, but I kind of use this one more to highlight. It's the shade 4.5, but it works so beautifully. It's like a natural highlight on my skin. So I apply it in the center of my forehead, underneath my eyes, and then at the outer corner of my eye. And I find this like gives a lovely lift to the eye. And it also works beautifully over the corrector as well and makes my under eyes look super gorgeous and bright. I'll take any excess around my nose and then I've also added a little bit to the back part of my jaw which might seem like a really strange place to highlight and maybe somewhere not everyone wants to highlight but I have a very strange shaped jaw. Sometimes I feel like there's absolutely zero definition to it at all so in addition to contouring the underneath I actually like to add a little bit to the back part of my jaw to accentuate this area here. And that is my complete personal preference. You do not have to do that. And then again, I also add a little bit just to the bottom of my chin as well, just to give me that chiseled shape. I'm just going to bronze quickly using my YSL All Hours foundation in the shade B70. Take it at my neck as well, because my neck is just so 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 fair and then i'm just going to blend that out using my it cosmetics foundation brush i can't remember what this is called but i will link it in the info box for you guys and then i'm blending out my cheek contour i like to when i have time i like to take it upwards towards my hairline i just find it helps to give you a little bit more lift i apply a little bit to my nose not so much as contour i use something else to contour but I just really like to add a little bit more definition back into my face after having applied concealer and foundation. Just gives a little bit of a sun-kissed look, which I am very sadly missing at the moment. And then I just blend this in in circular motions all across my temple and my hairline. This girl's got a big forehead, so this, it is very much needed. I'm going to add blush a little bit later once I've done the eyes and I can see how much it needs and maybe what tone I'd like. Also maybe once I've decided on my lip as well, just to make sure they really marry up nicely. But now we are going to move on to eyes. I'm scared guys. 
I feel like I said recently, I am very out of practice with doing eyes and it was very sweet. Everyone the other day at the Victor and Rolf event really complimented my eye makeup, but I felt like it was a shambles, but I'm gonna do my best today. I left myself more than enough time so that I can really take my time with this. That is my best advice if you are trying something new as well, if this is new to you too, because it definitely feels new to me. Give yourself a good amount of time to just slowly work it in. So I'm starting off by taking the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Amber all over my eyelids. This is gonna act as my base. We're not actually gonna be going this gold. And I'm just using a Vive Eyeshadow Packer brush to pat that in, but then I'm also taking it up to my brow bone and just making sure that edge is like blended out nicely. And then I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury liner duo. I'm not sure exactly what this is called, but I'm gonna be using the Magic Enhancer part of the liner duo and just taking this across my lash line. And this is a really gorgeous dark brown that almost looks black, but it's not quite black. And I thought this would look lovely with the golden brownie tones that I'm going for tonight. I'm just taking a tiny little spectrum brush. If you watch my videos all the time, you'll know this very well and using it to blend out this liner. And now I'm just taking a Vive eyeshadow smudger and just using that to work that eyeshadow into the Bobbi Brown Golden Amber shadow. Just taking it out a little bit as well. I have quite round eyes that are like set into the center of my face, so I always like to take my eyeshadow out a little bit. Just wing it out that tiny bit. And then when you add lashes as well, it gives that gorgeous like cat eye effect. We've got a nice amount of definition there. It's gonna look a bit mad right now, but once you add your lashes, it's just gonna look beautiful. And once we've got the rest of the eyeshadow on as well, you just wait, she says, praying her vision comes to life. I'm now praying I am able to do what I just did on my left eye or my right eye. I'm gonna leave the eyeliner there for now. However, I may also add some to my waterline a little bit later, but we'll see. Next, I'm gonna be using a palette, which is an oldie, but a goodie. This is by Huda Beauty. And I wanna take this golden brownie shade here, which is called Blessed. And I'm going to take that onto my Vive eyeshadow packer brush. And I'm just going to pat that all over my eyelid. And I'm also taking a shade called Sandalwood from the same palette and just blending that through my crease and out towards my brow bone. And I'm not just keeping this to the outer corner, I'm taking this quite far in to the inner corner of my brow bone as well, just so we get this lovely brown wash all over the eyelid. I'm gonna try this on the other eye before I pack the shadow on. I feel like I should have done that the other way around. So just going through my crease, up towards the tail of my brow, and bringing that into the inner corner of my brow bone as well. And that just gives a really lovely lift to the face and it kind of mimics the cheekbone line as well. I really like doing makeup like that. Yeah, definitely would recommend doing the crease first. I much prefer that. I'm just going in again with another layer of the Blessed eyeshadow shade. I love that. Okay, then I'm taking another Vive brush. This is the Precision Eyeshadow Packer. And I'm just using it to take the Sandalwood eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Just to add a little bit more smokiness. I think I'm gonna add this darker liner to the waterline. Have I gone mad? Maybe. Oh my god, obsessed. I haven't done this in years. I'm just gonna do the same to my upper lash line. This always makes my eyes water. I don't know if you'll be able to see a difference on camera, but it just adds a lovely fullness to your lashes. I haven't done eyes like this in so long, but they're so pretty. In this palette is the black eyeshadow that I use for most makeup looks. So I'm gonna take some of this onto my tiny little angled brush again. And I'm just using that to add a little bit more definition to my lash line without adding a big wing. One of the ways I really like to blend out liner across my lash line is I turn the brush vertically instead of horizontally and just wipe it across. And it doesn't give you a wing, but it gives you this thickness, the outer corner. I only do it like that here. I never do it at the top of my eye, but if you have quite round eyes like me and you want to 
give them more of an almond shape and you don't want to use like a bajillion brushes to be blending out a bit of eyeshadow just turn your tiny smudger brush vertically and it works beautifully at blending out like a black eyeshadow across the lash line and making it really like smoky and smudgy and gorgeous next i'm taking some duo lash adhesive onto the back of my hand and i'm just going to leave it there whilst i do my brows so that the glue can go a little bit tacky i'm using the anastasia beverly hills brow definer through my brows just quite lightly and i don't take too long doing my brows i just follow their natural shape now so it doesn't take me very long but it's the perfect thing to be doing whilst i wait for my lash glue to dry because i am the most impatient person and i hate waiting for it to dry oh and this is in the shade ash brown by the way it's like my go-to shade you really don't have to use too much but it's not too dark either and because i use a brow gel this is the hourglass brow gel i never really put too much um actual brow pencil through the front of my brows because otherwise they just end up looking a bit too blocky and too much i like to keep the inner part of my brow very soft i think because my brows are so dark it just adds a nice little bit of softness to them to keep this bit a little bit wispy i think i'm also going to do my lip whilst we wait for this to dry because it's taking a little while I do have a couple of options and I'm gonna kind of test both. I have the Estee Lauder Pure Color Whipped Matte Lip Color in the shade 921 Air Kiss. And this looks really pretty, like a soft matte pink nude. That's so nice. And then I also have this Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Uptight. And this is a matte lip. Very similar, but I'm gonna go for the Estee Lauder. So we're just going to add that all over and then I'll blend it in with my finger. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Tom Ford lip pencil. I started using this again recently, remembered how much I love it. And for some reason, I really like to add my lip liner after I've done my lip product. I just find it doesn't get lost as easily. You can add more definition and more depth. And then I just blend the edges of it out a little bit. Hopefully it's not too bright. It's fine because I'm going to add a gloss anyway. But back to the lip liner. This is the shade 04 Extort. And it also has this little brush on the end if you don't like blending in your lip product with your finger you can blend your lip liner in with the little brush no i'm i love this lip this is gorgeous okay we'll come back to lips in a second because my glue is starting to dry so i'm going to take the swede individual lashes because i don't want crazy lashes today but i do want like a lovely little bit of fullness and flutter got my tweezers thankfully ryan did not take them with him when he packed his stuff this morning because he normally steals them. Hairy couple problems, you know. And I like to take a lot of medium lashes. I'm a medium lash kind of girl. It's just so pretty, it's so subtle. I don't know if it'll show. These are just so natural, they're so stunning. Perfect, I think as well, if you're doing like something festive with family and you don't, sometimes I don't really want all of the comments on like, oh, and you're wearing lashes and you're wearing makeup. Sometimes you just want to look glam, but without like feeling a bit too extra you know and i think a few little individuals like this are like perfect for that kind of occasion where you don't want people being like oh wow okay are you trying to impress you know the vibe i don't think my family have ever done that but i just get really awkward when people pay me compliments as well so <laughs> okay i'm gonna add some mascara this is the glossier lash slick because what else would there be <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know i love this mascara and i use it literally every day it is my Probably my all-time favourite mascara, and that really is high praise. I've used a lot of mascaras, you know? You can build it up, or you can just add a tiny amount, and it looks like real lashes. Like, the amount of times people ask me if I am wearing false lashes or lash extensions is crazy. But I think it's even, like, marketed as, like, lashes without the extensions or something like that on the website. And I didn't even know that when I tried it. I actually just saw it the other day. Just adding a little bit to the lower lash line as well I hate it when you get a wispy that hangs too low makes me very sad i'd rather mo move you than pull you out please move listen dude you need to point forward a bit more not outwards because this is not not how we're doing things here hun okay this is why i could never be a lash extension girly one point's in the wrong way and i want to chop it off i think this might be the best eyeshadow look i've done in a very long time um i was i was about to say that's saying something but it's not because my eye looks lately have been so, so dead. I'm going to add a little bit of gloss. I have two really cool glosses. One is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's Champagne Diamonds. I'm not sure what the 
actual lip gloss is called but i'll try and link it and then the other one is the fenty beauty what are these gloss bombs gloss bomb in the shade gloss bomb heat in the shade lemon lava i feel like this one will go really well with the lip color but will it go too well and then it's just not impactful or do i go lemon lava which is a bit more of a goldy color i'm gonna go lemon lava i'll just undo it if i don't like it oh my god i forgot how gorgeous these are and this smells in oh smell i love how we've got like the super glossy eye and then a really glossy lip also if you wanted to i feel like a bit of like eye gloss this is by ysl this is eye gloss smudger i'm not sure if they still do this but um lots of brands do it or you can use um actual lip gloss i've seen a lot of people on tiktok do that but i can't account for how well it lasts or whether it moves things about but a little bit of this eye gloss smudger would be incredible like just if you wanted to really like mess it up as well i don't know if i'll do that because i wanted to do uh individual lashes and i'm scared that it will like upset the glue but if you weren't doing that and you were doing like really thick kind of like spider type lashes i think this would look so cool okay we're gonna, we're gonna add a little bit of blush just to the high points of my cheeks this is by rare beauty and it's the shade bliss i just realized that the uh, the fenty gloss bomb heats obviously are called heat because they make your lips like fully tingle so if anyone thinks like if anyone has seen the photos from this like night out and thinks i look extra pouty i haven't done anything to my lips they're just on fire <laughs> like they actually do feel like they're on fire wow oh i really like that it works so nicely with the pink lip tone with a little bit of the dior blush i'm gonna take the precision powder brush from vive just because i can't remember what brush i'm meant to be blushing with i'm just gonna Swirl that in, add a little bit here. For a day look, I don't like blush here, but there's something about like a night out look when you've got a, when you've got a smoky eye that really does work so beautifully with like cheek blush. Do I know where my powder is? No. So I'm gonna be using my Bare Minerals Bare Pro powder with a Vive 125 highlight brush. Might be a weird choice, but I really like being able to control where the powder is going especially for a look like this where we've added a highlighter so i like to press this everywhere i need it pressing definitely helps it stay for longer so that is it for my festive glam i'll give you all the close-ups and everything like that i'm so happy with how it turned out the only thing i did do was take my blending brush uh, that i use for my foundation and concealer and everything like that and just tap it over the tops of my cheekbones just to make sure the blush was really beautifully blended when i work with artificial light versus daylight it's so hard to tell where the blush is going um, and you don't know until you're in very like strong bright light so thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end thank you for joining me for what feels like my first makeup tutorial in forever in fact this may or may not be my first of 2022 better late than never thank you so much for joining me i really hope you enjoyed this let me know if you recreate it please tag me i would absolutely love that i am obsessed with how this came out i know it's not like super in your face festive but it's so glitzy and really gorgeous but without feeling like too over the top and i love that the only thing i would say is i would love to do this look but with um the vive lip liner in rumor which is like a dark kind of like burgundy brownie tone it is absolutely gorgeous it's a really good dupe for nars mandor if any of you remember that lip shade that i used to wear all the time back in the day it's a really good dupe for that i think it suits my skin tone really well um it's a really nice ready brownie tone and i would love to do this lip with that it's probably if you see me wearing a similar look with a red ish lit over the christmas season then that will be it if i were actually just filming this to like sit around in my house i would definitely do the red lip for you but because i'm actually needing to leave the house very very soon i won't be doing that today but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye